What's up guys? Welcome back to the next episode of this Volkswagen Transporter T4 campervan conversion. So in today's episode I'm going to be building out the sliding bed for inside the campervan conversion itself. Inside the conversion it's coming along quite nicely. As you can see I've got quite a lot of jobs already done. I'm three quarters of the way through the kitchen pod at the moment but I need to go out and get some trim for that. So I'm going to be going out tomorrow getting that but in the meantime I figured I might as well start on the pull out sliding bed. Now in the conversion I'm going to have basically a lengthways bed that's going to be butted up pretty close to where the driver's seat is. At the end of the bed if there's enough space I'll also be building another cupboard similar to how I've got there on the kitchen side just for additional storage space at the end of the bed for things like batteries, maybe the port of toilet, uh, electronics, additional storage space, things like that. Now the bed itself, as I say, it's just going to be pretty much a static sofa bed with a pull-out section and the pull-out section should extend all the way up to pretty much where the kitchen pod side is as well. When it pulls out, it should give a width of roughly around about a metre wide. Lengthwise, I'll be building it around about two metres long, so there should still be about another 30-40 centimetres at the end for a little cupboard as well. So when it's fully built, it should be roughly two metres by one metre and that's a pretty good sized bed especially for inside a camper van as well now it's all going to be getting built out of csl timbers and uh, some plywood things like that i'll film it all, all as i'm going along and if you're looking for any of the bits that i am putting in this conversion always check the links beneath the video in the description i'm always linking out to ebay where i've bought the vast majority of the bits that are going into the conversion as well as the tools that i'm using to actually build the conversion out as well so let's get cracked on and get this sofa bed started. Let's go and get some tools out, some safety gear out. Let's get cracked on and hopefully by the end of this video we should have a fully functional, very very comfortable, nice sofa bed ready for camping trips to be taken away with. So let's get cracked on.
Right, so the bed frame's coming along quite nicely as you can see. Now if this was going to be a single bed, this would probably just do the frame as it is. But because I'm going to be having a pull out section and I want to be able to lift up the bed slats to be able to get easy access underneath as well. I actually remembered how I did one of the previous sliding out beds that had a fold up section and that had a section of ply going underneath the slats and that allowed the pull out section to pull out without dropping down under the bed and it also gave a platform for it to lift up and down as well. So as it, if I was going to leave it as like a single type bed this would do quite nicely but instead I'm actually going to unscrew all the slats that I put in yesterday, reconfigure it to the way that I've done it previously so then at least the full slats can lift up and down, give full access to all the storage underneath and you'll still be able to pull it out quite easily as well. So let's get the tools back out, let's get all these slats undone, reconfigure the bed to how I did it previously in one of the previous conversions that I've done. Then we'll pick it back up when it's all sorted out and the bed is fully built. So let's get cracked on, get some more done. Right, and this is the memory foam mattress that I've got that I've bought online as I said there'll be links below going out to where I bought this one and as you can see this is a nice relatively thick four inch or ten centimeter foam mattress 
but because it's memory foam and there's that much squish in the foam itself by the time it's all upholstered and in the van when you're sitting on the foam it'll probably compress at least 50 percent so it's not going to take up that much more additional headroom inside the van as well now i say if you're looking for this type of stuff just have a look in the description beneath the video and that will go out to the same ebay seller where i bought this exact memory foam from now to get it cut down i'm just going to be using a bread knife i'm just going to be putting some markings all the way along after i've made some measurements and then just slicing along and bread knives are one of the quickest and easiest ways to get cutting through this memory foam type stuff it doesn't take long it just slices straight through sometimes you just need to do a couple of cuts going along but it takes probably about five minutes if that to get this entire mattress cut down to the shapes and sizes that i need so i'm going to go and get my tape measure out get some measurements put in I'll just be drawing them along in pen and then as I say I'll be cutting along with a bread knife and then when the uh, the mattress is fully cut down to shape and size I'll be getting the sewing machine out, getting the upholstery out and get it all upholstered as well. But first things first, let's get all the markings on and let's get this all cut down with a bread knife. Right, so with both foam cushions cut out of the mattress, this is the upholstery material that I'm going to be using. It's some nice VW camper van style material that I think should go quite nicely inside the van as well. As you can see, I've got one of the cuts fully laid out at the moment. I've just put some markings around where I need to do some cuts. I've just done the very first cut there and then I realised I wasn't recording anything, so I've just picked it up now. But I'm going to be doing a few more corner cuts, one there, I've got another one down in here. Another one there and another one up at this top end there. These cutouts will allow for the corners to fold nicely and get a nice neat sewn edge on each corner. So once those four corners are now cut out, I'll then cut it down exactly to shape and size as well. Then we'll get it on the sewing machine and we'll get it all trimmed up. But first things first, let's get some a few more cuts done and get it all ready for trimming. Right, so there we go guys, that is the pull-out bed fully finished now. As you can see, I've fully upholstered both of the cushions in some nice little VW camper van type upholstery material. I think that looks quite nice, and I've used the same material to create a couple of curtains, one for the back door and one for the sliding door here as well, just so it adds a little bit of uniformity throughout the conversion. But I do like this upholstery material, I think it's quite nice and quite funky for the van that it's inside. So the bed itself, I say it's a full pull-out bed that extends to the full width of the conversion up to where the kitchen pod is. Underneath the bed we have plenty of storage space. Under this side we have a large open void. I haven't sectioned or boxed any of this side off. This is going to be perfect for getting big bulky, bulky items in. Things like levelling ramps if you want to take additional water, some big bags for clothing or anything like that. Hiking equipment, anything like that. It can all go under this large section of the bed. And then under the other side we have we have all of the electrics, the battery storage, as well as a section that's boxed off for the little porter toilet that can nice and easily fit underneath this bed as well. The Thetford uh, 345, that's the toilet that I've got and it fits nicely under there. It's one of the low profile toilets and I've basically built this bed to be sure that I could fit a portable toilet underneath it as well. So as you can see, plenty of open storage space, as well as storage for all of the electronics, the batteries, things like that as well. They so just flip back up and store away. Now to get the bed out itself, it's quite simple. It's just literally pulling out this one section. I need to put a little lock on that. But we need to pull this section out, flip the cushions down. I've got a couple of legs down there as well that will help to stand the uh, extension up. So I'll put the camera down, I'll pull the bed out, it literally takes 30 seconds to pull out, and I'll pick it back up in a second. Now 
Right, so there we go. As you can see, the bed makes out literally in 30 seconds or so. Just pull out the extension, pop in the couple of supporting legs to be sure that it's going to be nice and sturdy. Move the second cushion down, and then we have a nice full length bed that is over 100 centimetres wide as well. So it's around about three and a half foot or 105 centimetres wide. And say it's roughly around about 190 centimetres long as well. And then to put it back into the sofa, it's again just to reverse the process. Lift out the cushion, push the extension back into the actual bed frame itself. Take off both of the legs. There's one. And say the other one's down there. Take the legs off, push the frame back. And that's the bed back into position. So we'll just do that now. And there, as you saw, again, literally just seconds to convert it back from the three quarter slash double bed back into what is basically a single bed or a sofa bed as well. So that's how I've built this full pull out sofa bed in its Volkswagen T4 Transporter camper van conversion, including doing all the upholstery and all the storage space underneath it as well. So if you're looking for any of the items that I've used within this build, any, any of the wood, any of the trim, any of the upholstery, the mattress itself that I've used because this is a brand new memory foam mattress that has been cut down to shape, as, uh, shape and size. Check the links in the description of the video. There will be links going out to eBay where I bought pretty much everything for this conversion, including the mattress for the, uh, the sofa bed itself, all the upholstery, the vast majority of the uh, fixtures and fittings as well. Most of it's all come off eBay apart from this actual wood itself that I got from a local timber merchant. But as I say, practically everything else is off eBay as well as most of the items that have gone into this conversion. But as I say, that is the full pull-out sofa bed, fully fitted, fully finished, in this VW T4. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, consider giving it a good old thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and feel free to have a look through the past catalogue. There's well over 200 videos documenting the previous seven conversions on the channel now as well. So lots of content on the channel for anybody who's new. And if you're a returning subscriber, Hopefully, I'll see you on next week's update as we progress finishing off this VW T4 into a fully-fledged campervan conversion. So, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on next week's episode. Cheers.